I'm with Filter Podcast. Sorry, I just got interrupted. I had to cut that short again because my dad is just not listening to me like usual. Like everybody doesn't listen to me. I'm doing my podcast. Leave me alone. Blah, 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 blah. You know, whatever. I got a number for another job, possibly. You know, I won't be getting a job right away, but I understand that. That's just what it is. But I was actually talking about WrestleMania before I got cut off there. And it was... It was a fantastic WrestleMania. AEW was awesome last week. Cody Rhodes, I can't believe it. They let him use the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, and the song, which was really, really cool. I I think the other reason to that was Vince knew it's time to... Yeah, I know. My hat's... Like, my head's tilted. I can't help it. My head's tilted, people. I'm just sorry. I'm fucking big-ass head here. Uh, It was awesome. Uh, Hockey-wise, I'm going to go back and flip back and forth here. So, hockey-wise, I know my knocks are out. But that's okay. It's all right. It's it's heartbreaking. But, you know, they gave it the best shot. They did try to run up the score. Again, oh, maybe I should show you something. I did get a new Dodgers hat. So, I'm probably going to change it up, wear the new one. Yes, I I have like a swack load of Dodgers hats. I do have my Team Canada hats and all that. But let's see. No, head's still freaking messed up like usual. I can't help it, but it is what it is. That one's a little stiffer. This one's a little more loose. Uh, Life itself is going all right. I am just kind of going with the flow of life. I'm not going to rush things. I'm not going to push things. I've noticed my resume is starting to get a lot more attention. That's awesome. I know I haven't shaved in probably a week. Uh, The girl I was talking to and I was seeing, she and I, I don't know what's going on with us there. That's a whole different ball game for a whole different area of life. So I really don't care. Uh, I'm not going to hold anything against people. I'm just going to go through life like I always do. I cannot pinpoint that shit. Mental health is starting to feel really better. I know I shouldn't be drinking this shit. I know. I, I'm sorry. But with that being said, if you are watching this on YouTube, I am going to start playing some basketball. Get myself back into shape. Get myself back into the world of enjoying life i got my golf clubs out so i'm gonna have to start golfing again uh i do have a song i I will be in the next few weeks put more tracks out uh it's really hard for me to do anything because i'm not i'm still learning my dj board i'm still learning all that other good stuff and yeah it's 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 a little tricky i will admit that it's the tricks of the tricks of the trades i am not going to be too too overly on uh doing things fast because i know how it is i I do that shit i might i'll put up the track on my intro for the vid on youtube so please check it out it's awesome uh i do have my giant tv going on with youtube i got my laptops with youtube nba uh i'm gonna be telling you honest truth i'm feeling very disappointed right now very disappointed just because honestly uh, the Lake Show is kind of uh, starting to fall into fall to pieces here, man. I'm, I'm really getting disappointed. I'm not disappointed with the Raptors or the Bucks. You know, I'm I'm actually really enjoying this. I'm really enjoying looking at what I'm seeing. Yeah, Lakers are they got to pull their shit together just to get into that playing round. So they better start doing something. I see the Clippers are there in the playing round, so you know, that's going to go on. But again, you know, that's my prediction for the final. That's hard to say because the East and the West are so good. Like the top say 7 teams are playing at such a high caliber game. I don't know how this is going to work, but if I had to call somebody on it, I'd probably say in the West, I might have to go Suns and then 
my two teams that are my dark horses would be the Grizzlies and the Warriors would be in the finals of the NBA for the West. The East, you can't discredit the Bucks, the 76ers, and possibly the Heat. So those are like my three that I can see one of those three on each side, one of them, being in the finals. In the NHL world, I can't even explain how painful this this has you know this is to me, but it is what it is, and I I go to TSN because they have a proper way of setting this up. So the wild card spot, let's see, yeah, my knocks are right out with twelve games to go. Sitting at 74, they, they got to win all 12 games, basically. This is how it looks. It's like they got to win all 12, and that's a pretty hard pill to swallow on that front. Of course, Florida clinched already, and they only played 69 games. But Florida was racking up, you know, games and points. That's not a shock, the three that are eliminated in the East... And it's not a shock with the two in the West. I'm still surprised that they still hold on to Chicago. Chicago has 12 games. That's not going to happen. Chicago's eliminated. San Jose's eliminated. Uh, congrats to Ryan Getzlaff for re- his retirement. Announcing it. You know, hey, guy's a champ. Part Team Canada, 2010 Olympics, all that. Winning the o- in 07 with the Ducks uh, with a stellar team. So congrats to him. Uh, back uh, over to the NFL, there was a massive trade with the Saints and the Eagles, and that's just going to go really crazy. But, you know, I'm not going to say too much on that. The Blue Jays, the whole baseball, I love what they're going to do for Jackie Robinson. That's pretty cool. Whole Dodgers thing, that's awesome. I love my Dodgers. I love the Dodgers. I love Blue Jays. So, <clears throat> all on that front. Uh, congrats to Braun Breaker from last night on Raw, winning the NXT title for the second time. He deserves it. Shout out to all the Hall of Famers and all that. But again, the whole wrestling world was really awesome. I even watched uh, Ring of Honor Supercard. Honor, uh, Honor Supercard. That was pretty, pretty freaking stacked. That was awesome. FTR and the Briscoes, I think, had the match of the year for a tag team bout. That was literally, legitimately the tag team match of the year. I don't care what anybody says to that. It was awesome. It was just done right. It was years of built-up frustration between these guys. For FTR being the revival in WWE, the Briscoes being in the ring of honor for so long and then just watching it now i'm hoping i'm hoping that uh something happens here for uh the young bucks ftr and the briscoes moving forward maybe the good brothers tama tonga and tongaloa somewhere having this huge 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 match you know massive tag team match i would love to see that i'd enjoy that a lot. Uh, that's my take. Like pro wrestling has become relevant once and again. Uh, WWE is finally understanding that you know don't just base yourself. Brock Lesnar. I heard everybody said it was a stale match. It wasn't really a stale match. It was just kind of like we all knew who was going to win. It was Roman. I was kind of hoping Brock would, but Roman won it. Whatever. That's you know the point of it. Being, and it was just how the match went down. I think you know Pat McAfee and Austin Theory had a pretty pretty good match. It was just funny watching McMahon and Pat McPhee have a match. So it was a WrestleMania of stupendous. I just got a kick out of it watching good old Stone Cold back out there one more time for the second night, stunning everybody, drinking beer. That was a perfect way to end. Taker had a great career, 30 plus years. And you know, you have you have to admit the guy segued into the Hall of Fame the right way, the correct way of him. 
having a great match with AJ Styles. I'm starting to see something build with Edge being a brood, certain brood kind of thing going on. I love it. I love seeing AJ and Edge go at it. very similar styles, kind of wrestling in like grappling wise. Where AJ is, he he's a pretty high flyer. He's good at it. Uh, I would love to see Finn and you know Austin Theory have a match here. I'm hoping Finn just keeps the title period for a while. That's my thing. Uh, again, mental health is doing great. I love my mental health. Uh, I, I noticed my mental health was really declining there, but now I'm starting to see where it's peaking. It's getting back. I'm positive. I love it. I love doing this, so don't get me wrong. I will try to continue, but I do have my days where I'm a little just... I'm, I'm relaxing right now. I'm just relaxing, enjoying myself, put myself into energies of whatever I want to do right now. I'm just not in the mood of always having to perform just because I've been dealing with my personal side of business and stuff. But again, I'll probably do it tomorrow because it is Wednesday. It's hump day. It's woman crush Wednesday. And uh, yeah, I'm going to do that. Uh, I will put up my track on my YouTube channel here as the intro theme. So, you know, check it out. Listen, find me on Spotify. I am on Spotify. My podcast is on Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Everywhere you get your Apple or your podcasts, I am on there. Again, this is sorry I didn't come with a filter. I will talk to you guys all later.